Peace be with you. How are you doing? I hope this uh, video finds you well. Today we are uh, in Kwan uh, Kagresima Sunday, the 50 days before the Feast of uh, Easter. Our readings uh, is from uh, the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians chapter 13 which is about the definition of love and the healing of blind man from the Gospel of St. Luke. My question is, how can we reconcile the first reading, the definition of love of St. Paul, especially verses 4 to 7, and that of the healing of the blind man? First point, love is enduring. Love is long-suffering. Love is patient. Love takes time. Love is not in haste. Love is not rushing. And that is the very characteristic of the blind man in the gospel for today. He has this unstoppable attitude. The crowd tried to silence him. The crowd wants to stop him. But the blind man was so persistent that Jesus called his uh, attention. That's why the blind man received his healing. Now let us ask ourselves, do we have the persistent attitude of the blind man? Are we willing to quit because we are experiencing difficulties? Or we have this uh, fighting attitude, we have this fighting spirit that despite of difficulties, we want to still go on. The second point is Jesus prepared to do the action of healing than saying a word. My dear friend, we are being reminded that love as expressed in, uh, in the spiritual exercise of St. Ignatius of Leola, love is expressed not only in words but in deeds. That's why St. Francis of Assisi said, Preach, use words if necessary. Meaning, words are secondary. What is primary is action. That's why are we putting into action our uh, love. Love in action is shown in service. Are we serving out of love? Are we expressing our love for God and of that of the neighbor through service? As we draw close to the season of Lent, this uh, coming uh, Ash Wednesday, Perhaps we could ask ourselves these two points. Are we patient? Are we willing to wait? Do we have this uh, persistent attitude? Do we easily or do we easily quit because things are going difficult? Quitters do not win. Winners do not quit. Quitters do not win. Winners do not quit. And number two, are we expressing our love for God and of that neighbor through our deeds, not in words only? God bless you. Amen.